Dan Howell and Phil Lester are cruising for the United States. The two British YouTubers are currently one month into the North American leg of their third joint tour, Terrible Influence, and P.O.P.L.E. has an exclusive first look. The duo will continue with stops in Chicago, Toronto, New York City, Nashville, and more, before bringing their show to Australia in December. Being able to see our audience in real life now that we're all older and we're a bit gayer feels so radical and freeing, Dan and Phil said in a statement shared with PPL. We've had so many people joke that this tour has felt healing and to see people from all different walks of life feel like they are welcome our tour makes us so happy. They added, getting to perform a new show that contains so many spicy personal and professional revelations is a thrill. It's truly a DGAF new era and to see people hollering at some of the controversial moments and shedding a tear at the end makes it feel so good every night. When it comes to traveling the states, the two continued, the USA is so huge. We can't believe driving across the middle takes so long. From Texas and the Midwest to the upcoming East Coast leg, our propaganda is spreading across the nation and we're so happy to be here saving democracy, one brainwashed viewer at a time. The show sees Dan and Phil on tour together for the first time since their 2018 hiatus from their shared YouTube channel, Dan and Phil JMES, during which they both came out as gay and grew their personal brands. During this time, Dan wrote the number one New York Times best-selling mental health book you will get through this night and embarked on a solo comedy tour were all doomed, while Phil continued to grow his own YouTube channel, Amazing Phil. In an exclusive interview with Pete Opole ahead of their arrival in the U.S., the two, who have been on YouTube together for over 15 years, spoke about the reactions to their first few shows as they began their tour in September with a stop in Belgium. We've had so many funny memes and reactions to it, Phil, 37, told us at the time. Seeing the buzz on social media the first night we did the show, because no one knew anything about it or what it was going to be, was just a reminder of how hilarious our audience is. Dan33 added that the show is helping people come to terms with their past and also their future. It has also been amazing seeing all the different kinds of people that come to the show, because we have had people that are like, I'm old now and identify as a real person, not someone that spends all their time on YouTube, he said. All these people have grown up and gone on so many different journeys in the direction of their lives, and yet it feels like they all got to come together and feel like they were welcomed. Dan continued, they all got to laugh and feel like they could have some weight taken off their shoulders for who we were, for who they used to be, and for how scared they should feel about the future. The fact that everyone's left feeling invigorated about themselves for what the next chapters of their lives could be, I think we are really proud of that. The new territory of the show also poses new danger, as Dan said. Phil has experienced two accidents while working on the show, the first of which occurred during a rehearsal and resulted in a broken rib. Then he fell off the stage during a tour stop in Sweden, after which he wrote on social media, people think Phil is going to fall off the stage is an old joke until I actually fall off the stage. We joke about this, Dan explained. People are like, Dan and Phil need to stop exaggerating. But you don't even know the extent to which we don't tell people half the stuff Phil has done. I need to be wrapped in bubble wrap at all times, Phil agreed before adding, to be fair, is very dark on the stage. I thought I was leaning over the edge. There was no edge. I did a very stylish barrel roll off the front of the stage and thankfully it wasn't very high. It continued, but the rib was another thing. I won't say much because it'd be a spoiler, but we were rehearsing a very active part of the show and I bet myself in a way I should not have bent myself. Beyond the challenging physical aspects of the show, Dan noted that this specific scene also includes an emotional element where they are jokingly being quite confrontational about a lot of things that would have, in the past, been considered sensitive topics, whether it is about us and our audience or just like people on social media, and what this culture is. As for what the duo enjoys most about touring the United States, Dan quickly noted that Phil is looking forward to sugar. Yeah, I have a sugar issue, Phil confirmed. Everything in the U.S. has more sugar in it, so that's always quite exciting. The pancake stack I am going to get as soon as I arrive in America is going to be legendary. Dane added, you'll find that's essential. If someone wants a free selfie with Phil, just turn up to the local IHO Pete at 2 a.m. and see Phil just going. More maple syrup. The two shared a story from their 2018 tour, Interactive Introverts, where their bus broke down in the middle of Texas, and the only place nearby was a Denny's. So we ended up going there having a breakfast slam at like 3 a.m. I was like, I think I get American culture, Dan explained. This is it, the slam Phil added. Meanwhile, Dan is most looking forward to bust life. A lot of people go touring. Don't you just hate it?
Imagine being on a bus cramped up with all those people. And I'm like, I love it. Get me out of the house, Dan shared. We are not meant to just be spending all day in our head being anxious about stuff. We are meant to go outside. And I found that the only way I can do that is to book a tour and commit to dragging myself outside of the house. Following their return to YouTube and their joint brand, Dan said that they are living in this radical present where we are just seeing how things go. However, they are still aware of the demand for them to take on more big projects, particularly in relation to their former jobs as presenters on BBC Radio 1 where they hosted a weekly radio show and interviewed A-list celebrities like Taylor Swift and Fall Out Boy at special events. Yeah, that was really fun, Phil recalled. I think there was a lot of anxiety for me doing the radio because you have to press a lot of buttons, you're live, so I can say anything. Anyone knows that me, unfiltered and live is a dangerous mix, especially when you're the BBC. Dan added, people keep asking us. They are like Dan and Phil, we need you to get back doing these presenting jobs. You want to come back? Do the radio, do this award show. We are like, oh my, maybe we'll do it for the people. He continued to note that people are also begging him to return to his solo YouTube channel, but for now, they are focused on the tour. This Dan and Phil comeback was so low-key, Dan said. Literally, we had no plan for it. Phil was like, just sit down, play The Sims, play a little card game. And it is the most light, casual content ever. People were so enthusiastic about it, and now they are like, what is the future? People are begging us to do radio, they want us to do a podcast, they want us to do all this other stuff that their favorite YouTubers are doing. So now we are like, okay, we hear you, Dan, Phil 2.0 when we get back from this tour. Honestly, it sounds like a threat. Yeah, Phil agreed. What is it going to be? We are not sure, but we are excited about it. Tickets for Terrible Influence are now on sale.